Oh my God, my wig is slid back. <gasps> oh my. Welcome to the blog. Before we get started, we do have a hair sponsorship. I am working with a new company called Toyo Tris. This is how your hair comes packaged. It comes in this sturdy long box. Because I chose a headband wig, they did send some headbands here. They also sent this kind of wig cap. I don't use that kind. I use this kind. I just put a fresh one on. And this is how your wig comes packaged. This is a 16 inch curly headband wig all the details will be down below as well as a coupon code these are so easy to put on literally you just slap them on your head and you can be out the door within like four minutes so you want to see how it looks on your girl and how i style my headband wigs to my liking go ahead and stay tuned So this is the final look of the hair. I have not done short hair in so long, so I feel a little weird that my hair is so short. Like I said, this is 16 inches. I did cut about two inches off the bottom, so I cut it to be about a 14 inch. So if you stretch it, it comes here, right to the top of my chest. Um, it's really layered, which I can appreciate. You can see the short layers here. It's almost kind of like, not a diva cut, but it just, it reminds you with the, with these short layers being at the top and then it's really short at the bottom. Um, this is definitely like a mom wig, a work wig. This is one of those just real casual, real chill, but you wanna look put together, that's this type of wig. I can definitely appreciate that. Cause girl, you can just slap this on and go. I did put on the headband that came with it. This is the other one, it's really cute. It has like flowers and stuff on it, but I think this is better for today because I am wearing black leggings and a black t-shirt, so it's gonna match. But yeah, headband wigs, super easy. This curl pattern, look at that. It's just like a kind of like a wet and wavy type curl pattern. You can still run your fingers through it. Your hair, your fingers aren't gonna get tangled up in the, see, just look, you run your fingers through it. So I like these type of looser wave units. Even though it looks really short, it's long enough to pull up into a ponytail if you wanted to. If you wanted to do that half up, half down style, you definitely could. As you can see, look, I have my little ponytail at the top, down at the bottom. Also, it's long enough to pull it in a bun. If this short length isn't short enough for you, if it's gonna be getting in your face while working out or something like that, it's definitely long enough to pull into a ponytail and then you can just wrap it around in a bun. And you don't have to worry about the back of your neck because that's gonna be covered up with your headband. So that's why I love headband wigs so much. But you guys, Toyo Trace, they are new to the channel. I'm impressed with this wig. It's real simple. It's real easy. This is a beginner friendly wig. Nothing just too out there. So if you want something just simple, classic, easy, definitely look down below so you can get the link to this unit. I will have a coupon code as well. Check them out. They don't just sell headband units. They sell regular units. They also sell, they sell crochet braids. They sell crochet locks. Um, they have a lot to offer on their website. Definitely check them out. And I do want to give a huge shout out to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about the, the short mom wig. Let me know down below. All right, now on to the vlog. Hey, 
Hey besties and happy Saturday. Just to give you an update on my eyebrows, my microblading for my eyebrows. This is a close up look. This is a close up look on them. It is Saturday and I got them done Tuesday. So this is day four, still dark. They starting to itch a little bit. Um, they have not started peeling. They start peeling mm, like around like day five to seven. So yeah, and when I say peeling, I mean scabbing. Like they, they scab and then they like flake off. And then they become a lot lighter and you can actually see the strokes. Right now they just look, it actually just looks like I penciled them in like really dark. So anyway, yeah guys, um, I'm picking up the camera late. I ain't been doing nothing, I've been lazy. Look at my bed. Bed looking a whole mess. I'm about to wash the dishes now. I gotta get all the dishes out the sink. I'm, then I'm gonna wash Ashton's hair after that. And then the kids have a basketball game after that. I know it sounds crazy to wash Ashton's hair before a basketball game, but she's worn her hair down all week and she looks like a lion cub. And you do look like a lion cub. You look like baby Simba. So anyway, the only way for me to manage her hair, come here baby. Her beautiful, beautiful hair, which I think would be cute if she wore it down during her basketball game. No. <laughs> the only way I can manage this hair and put it in a bun that she wants to wear is for me to wash it. And hopefully, um, today I get my medal because I've not got my trophy or my, my medal at all this for these seven weeks. So if I don't get it, then I don't get a medal for these seven weeks. And I only have two medals. Ethan has his first one from last week. So today is a championship. So the game that they're playing today is for them to get into a position for third place. So whoever wins today's game will be third place for the entire league. And she wants a medal because she wants to win MVP for her team. Last week, Ethan won MVP for his team. So of course, she wants to win it too. <laughs> so no, I, I, I don't blame her. I understand. I need to. I if I don't get my trophy, then, then that means I was very, very... No, no, it doesn't mean you're bad, baby. Don't even say no bad words like that. Let's, we are not, we're not saying that. So, yeah, let me get on these dishes, get on all that hair, and then I will pick you guys back up soon. Y'all want to come help me? Does anybody want to come wash her hair? I would not mind if you are in the Houston area and y'all want to wash her hair. If y'all want to cornrow her hair. Y'all want to give her some lemonade braids? Like, no. So I don't have to worry about her hair? Like, no, I don't want braids. Like, y'all can come over to our house. Y'all can meet my mom. So, anyway, y'all want to help uh, doing some, some hair chores? Hair chores, that's it. Hit me up. <laughs> Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, and what you do. That's why I'm not in my life with you. I won't please you in any way I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? today's game it was 15 to 20 and so that means they placed number three out of their whole division uh, yay so that's exciting um last season they won the championship they won <laughs> they did really 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 good so um 
Yay to my babies. I'm watching Tay and Court, or Court and Tay. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all. I went to Forever 21 in the outlet mall yesterday and they had like a huge like clearance. Ooh, excuse me. They had like a huge clearance. So I'm gonna show y'all a couple of the items that I got. I am not doing a haul. I'm not trying nothing out. But I'm just gonna kind of show y'all what I got because it was really good prices. And this is the first item. It's a seamless um, halter bodysuit. It's originally $12.99. It was on clearance for $5. These are just some gray leggings with a little stripe down the side. I did not need these at all, but they were $5. I don't know what the original price was. I'm gonna assume the original price was maybe about $10. So yeah, then this uh, seamless ribbed legging set. Um, the top was five, the bottoms were nine. I don't know if these gonna fit cause these is really not my size, but they stretch so much. So I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed. If not, they'll be on my Poshmark. If you guys are interested in my Poshmark, my Poshmark is always down below, linked in the description box, okay? Then this is just a seamless black uh, mock neck halter. So the back is open. It's cropped. Just a little, you know, something, something. This was $5. So next I got this um, mix and match bikini. Y'all see how high on the hips these go? Look at that. Baby, these are cute. I wish they had, they had a matching um, like a uh, bandeau, but it, they didn't have it in my size. So... Yes, they were $3 and I just got this top to go with it. It's a like a crisscross um, swimsuit top, size extra large. Even though it says $12, it rang up for $5. So this is a whole bathing suit for eight bucks. Then here's another bathing suit. This one, $3, size extra large. I'm loving how it goes up on the hips. This one has like the little tie front. So this will be like really cute and sexy when I put it on because it'll be kind of like open. You can see the clee clee, the cleavage. And this one was $5. So once again, another bathing suit for $8. Y'all know my birthday is coming up in two and a half weeks. So on the 16th, November 16th, y'all wish me happy birthday. But anyway, so and y'all know I'll be out of town. So I got some new bathing suit options. Y'all know I am cheap at heart. Y'all might see me buy some expensive sneakers. Y'all might see me buy an expensive handbag. Uh, I'm still cheap. When it comes to like clothes, I'm cheap. Cause for one, I get a lot of clothes sent to me. For two, a lot of this stuff I just wear one time. Like my stuff that I wear multiples is like my skims. My athleisure wear is like this. I got this from Dee Dee's. This whole set was like $12.99. Stuff like this, I wear on repeat. Stuff like that, a $30 jumpsuit, I'm probably only gonna wear it once. And then if I try it on and it's not hitting the ground, I'm never gonna wear it. It's gonna be on my Poshmark. So anyway, I also went to a dollar store in there called Miss A. Baby, that is the best dollar store I have ever went to. Miss A, I think uh, Miss Lovely TV shops there a lot because I feel like I've seen it on her channel. But anyway, this was my first time going in one and I got a lot of stuff. I put all the, I put most of it away. The only thing that I kept out was the brushes. Yes, they're dollar store brushes. Yes, they're cheap. Like I don't spend money on brushes because look, 99% of the time I don't even wear makeup. So, but anyway, these are the brushes that I got. Yeah, they're nothing special y'all. Um, they're of course, they're cheap, but I mean, whatever this one is to apply your um setting powder underneath your eyes it said that this one is to apply your liquid foundation this one is a stippling brush so of course this is to smooth out your foundation as well this one uh, what they say this one was for i honestly can't remember i feel like this was to blend the setting powder under your eyes I don't know y'all, that was a dollar, so. Mm -hmm. And then this one, oh, this one's a, a, a foundation brush. Yeah, cause it's just flat at the top. Oh, and then this one, I think this one was for like eyebrows or lip liner, I don't know, but I was gonna use it to contour my nose. I was gonna put this on there cause it's flat. I was gonna use this to contour my nose. Yeah. Now the big granddaddy of all my purchases yesterday, y'all, the CCO, 
the cosmetics company store, I scored huge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all ready for what I got and how much I paid? Y'all not gonna believe it. <laughs> I know I'm not even really into makeup like that. I literally am a drugstore makeup girl, but I cannot pass up this deal. Okay, so let's get started. So first I got some Too Faced Perfectly Peach Foundation. I don't remember what the original price was. Some of them I remember the original price. Some of them I don't, but I'm gonna tell you the grand total just so you guys can basically get an idea in your head of where things range. So this is Too Faced. Too Faced stuff costs what? Maybe like $30 each possibly. Then I got some Born This Way Translucent Powder. I got it in the color Translucent Deep. It seems like it's gonna be really, really good. Then I got some Born This Way Powder. Um, it's just a multi-use complexion powder, oil-free. I got it in the color Mahogany. Then I got um, the Smashbox Photo Finish. I think this is about like 20 some dollars by itself too, in Sephora. Then I got some Bobbi Brown Pressed Powder. It's Sheer Finished Pressed Powder. I got it in the color Golden Brown. Then I got some Too Faced, what is this, lip injection? <laughs> it's just lip gloss, y'all, but it's like a plumping lip gloss. And I like my lip glosses either sparkly or to give my lips like a little bit of color. So I got this, and this is gonna be my first time trying it out. I put some on the back of my hand, but I didn't try it out. And this was kind of expensive. This was like 20 something dollars, I think. Of course, I ain't paid 20. Yeah, y'all see how it just gives my lips like a natural pink color. This is what I, I love lip gloss like this when I don't wear makeup because it just, look, it just woke my face up a little bit. Yes. Okay, so now we're getting into the granddaddy of things. Okay, so y'all, I got some Tom Ford Matte Foundation. This by itself, original price was $85. Tom Ford, I got it in the color Chestnut. Let's see if y'all can even see the color. Mm, not really, really can't see the color in the bottle. But anyway, I tested it um, and it was a good color for me. Uh, then I got some Tom Ford lip gloss. I think this was like $50 original price. And once again, I got it like in a pinky color just because I love my lips to have just that natural like hue to them. I'm putting it over top of the Too Faced, but I mean, they, they pretty much look the same. Yeah, I feel cool with my Tom Ford lip gloss. Then I did get two free gifts. I'm saving the best for last y'all, okay? I did get two free gifts. They gave me a Hollywood Glam Glow face mask. They also gave me a full size Dr. Andrew Wheels for Origins. Oh, so Origins. Um, soothing Lotion. This is a full size bottle. Look how big this is. Full size bottle. Where's directions at? Hold on, what is this for? Cause it's liquid. Y'all hear that? This ain't like lotion, lotion. Child, this does not have that. Oh, maybe it's on the bottom. Oh, okay, so this is for my face. Wow, that's a big bottle for this to be some like facial, a facial product. But anyway, that was thrown in for free because of um, once you spend a certain amount, you get a certain percentage off and then they also give you free items. Now, in this tiny, bag here is the granddaddy of everything okay y'all i got two bottles two big bottles of joe malone perfume ah! two big bottles so this one is called yuja and then the other one is called osmanthus blossom this one is my favorite they both smell amazing, but this one is my favorite. They also have the, um, so these are the 3.4 um, ounce bottles. They also have the one ounce bottles. But y'all, 
The original price for these bottles is $145. So $145, $145 with tax. This is already, this is over $300, okay? Let me tell y'all how much I paid at the CCO for all this. So let's go through what I got. Two big bottles of Joe Malone. A huge Origins facial lotion. A Hollywood Glam Glow mask. Tom Ford foundation. Tom Ford lip gloss. Two Faced lip gloss. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, Too Faced Foundation, Bobbi Brown Powder, Too Faced Powder, and then Too Faced Translucent Finishing Powder. For a grand total, including tax, a grand total of $305. So basically, the way we can look at this transaction I paid for two bottles of Joe Malone and got everything else for free. Got all this for free. Everything for free. If you do not have a CCO in your area, the Cosmetics Company Outlet Store. Let me just show you. The Cosmetics Company Store. If you don't have one by you, next time you travel, see if that city has one. Y'all need to hit up that store. Oh, and they had like about six different Tom Ford fragrances also. None that I just wanted or like had to have. I already have three Tom Ford fragrances. Um, they did have one that I kind of wanted to buy. It was in a silver metallic um, bottle. It smelled really good. I cannot remember the name of it. But um, all the other ones I was like, uh, they're okay. I don't need it. I'm okay, I don't need it. But these Joe Malone's, and I heard Joe Malone is a very good layering fragrance also. The um, perfume girls, the big perfume gurus on here, they use this to layer. I think they smell good by themselves. But I will be trying some layering. But anyway, so that's my haul, y'all. I don't want to bore you guys with uh, anything else. They also gave me 20% off uh, my next purchase. Um, so even though the cosmetics company store, everything is in there is from 40 to 75% off. She said this will take off an additional 20% on top of that 40 to 75% off. And she said, and it's gonna get taken off of the highest item in my transaction. I'm like, yes, count me in. When does this expire? Oh, it don't expire till February, so we good. So, okay, y'all, let me put all my new goodies away. I'm so excited. I didn't bring y'all with me yesterday just because I wasn't vlogging yesterday. Today, yesterday was my day off, but we working again today. So yeah, and I need to start getting ready for dinner. Um, my homegirl's in town and I'm going to dinner with her and my sister, so. Y'all can't tell me pink lip gloss don't look good. Y'all don't get clear lip gloss. Y'all get lip gloss that has a little color to it. So days when you don't have makeup on, you don't look dead and you don't look crusty by the mouth. Oh, and no, the CCO is not online. They are only in stores. And the two that I've been to are in outlet stores. So uh, we have a Katie Mills Mall, which is an outlet mall. There's one in there. And then also, also in San Marcos, which is about like a two and a half hour drive from here. I went to that one. That's where I bought my two, um, two Tom Fords from. Big bottle of Tom Ford Lost Cherry from. Uh, Y'all know like in the department store, this is like $350. I got it for like $140, $120, something. It was cheap. Cheap. <laughs> so the CCO is just one of those overstock stores. So when department stores get like too much uh, inventory in, they send it to the CCO. Or if it's something that's like, um, what's it called? Out of date? Not out of date. What's it? Out of... When they don't make it anymore, it has a word. And I can't think of it right now, I'm having a freaking brain fart. That, so when it's like not in production anymore and they're not selling it in department stores anymore, they send it to the CCO, okay? So this is not no knockoff stuff, this ain't no fake stuff, this isn't um, expired stuff, no. Everything is A plus A1. Now, let me finish watching my girls. I want to meet them. They just seem so cool and so fun. Especially Tay. Like, I want to meet Tay. I want to hang out with Tay. Me and Tay seem like we would vibe. I just, I feel like we would vibe. But anyway, all right, y'all. Y'all know I cannot get ready with all this mess. So I'm about to clean this up.
Oh, and while we're doing hauls, me comfortable, and things that I've recently purchased, um, I'm gonna share something with y'all real quick, real quick, real fast. We ain't going in depth, okay? You ready? You ready? So your girl jumped on the bandwagon, okay? Something has been floating around social media for maybe, I don't know, six, seven months now. And I just keep seeing this ad. And I just say, I, let me jump on it. Let me, let, me, let me see what the hype is about. So, I don't know what the hype is about yet because I haven't tested it out yet. But, y'all just take a look real quick. Y'all see that there? Y'all see that? That's all I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, I'm getting ready for the night. Me, my sister, and our home girl who's in town have dinner reservations at Steak 48. Steak 48 got that heat. They got that good food and they're very expensive. It's a $100 per person minimum if you go, just FYI. But the food is worth it. And how expensive the food is, you're definitely gonna spend $100 a person. Don't be that person going in there trying to just buy appetizers and drink soda. Like, that's a no. Anyways, so I'm about to do my makeup, y'all. Um, do y'all use samples that y'all get? When I bought my Gucci perfume, the lady gave me a bunch of makeup samples. So I'm about to, baby, I'm about to try these out. I'm gonna mix them and try to find my color. I mean, I really should be using like my new makeup that I just showed you guys, but I wanna try this out. My sister uses Gucci makeup. She's like really, really into makeup to wear like she, she spends a ton of money. I ain't never been that chick. Ain't trying to be that chick. Ain't gonna be that chick, period. But uh, I'll definitely try a little sample. This is the primer right here. Ooh, they give you just enough. Child, this ain't even enough to put on my forehead. Mm-mm. Let me open this other sample up. I mean, it's, it's a sample. It's not for like a full makeup application. Like, Gina, come on now. But Lord, y'all could have at least gave me enough to put on my my lower face i'm outside in the amg right outside tt oh it smells good two-tone baby yeah you heard of me i guess i'm just gonna mix all three or maybe just mix these two oh no, oh, no boss okay come through pigments Come through pigmentation. I know about two years ago, you ain't had this color spectrum. The darkest you went was for gals like me. Dishwater brown, as I call myself. Gina, what is you doing? <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh my God. Gina. I'm talking about oh my god and proceeds to continue. <gasps> oh, this should have been for my under eye. Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? Why did I slap that on my freaking goatee? Like. Hey, don't panic. Relax. We're going to fix it. Let's open up the next package. Put me in a casket. That's how I'm looking. Okay, hold on, hold on. We might got some little, I got some blending going on. Okay, Jim, keep going. Gotta be careful with the eyebrows since I just got them microbladed. Really not even supposed to be doing this. Oh God. Okay, y'all, let me do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all how it turned out, cause oh my gosh. It's not that bad, it's not that bad, like. Every other 
actually and I used my new uh Too Faced powder which I think is like my perfect color so the Gucci makeup is a go it's good I'm not gonna buy it but it's very creamy full coverage um it feels lightweight so if you guys are interested in Gucci beauty foundation it's definitely a go um my Too Faced powder love it love the color yes and I also use Gucci mascara on my bottom lashes y'all and i couldn't do anything to my brows because y'all know i just got them microbladed we are on day four so i cannot pencil them in because usually when i pencil in my brows it'll definitely be thicker than this okay so these are just my microbladed eyebrows so that's what it's giving probably in the next week i can start penciling them in because y'all know i like a thick brow so yeah, and then this is just a T-part wig. I don't remember who it's by. Who is this wig? Oh, this is a Jurly She wig. So yeah, let me go ahead and get dressed. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, and then I'm gonna peace out. Oh yeah. Y'all, my ass has gotten so much bigger. These hips and this ass. Oh shit. Whew. Gotta do karate kicks. Ooh. Ooh, just to get them on up all the way. Y'all, I was doing this in the bathroom stall one day. My karate kicks to get my pants up. Why this chick, I don't know if she's in the stall next to me or out outside of the stalls waiting, but she goes, sis, if you gotta do all that, this shit don't fit. Bitch, I was so embarrassed, pissed. Like, really? Girl, really? First of all, you watching me through the crack? Like, talk about if it, you gotta do all that. It don't fit. Girl, let me do my, my high kick. Oh, that wasn't even a high kick. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. That was a medium kick. Oh, okay, I got my pants up. <sighs> Set myself into a medium. Okay, I think this is the top that I'm wearing which is just a cropped, like military kind of looking Zara top. It has this thing around the bottom that goes around your waist. I think I'm gonna wear this. I got this during the last Zara sale. This was like the first day of the sale, so that price really wasn't even that great. But if I remember correctly, this was like really curved. Really, really curved. And y'all, I don't take price tags off until I actually wear the stuff. So, call me weird. I don't know. I be seeing girls do try on hauls and they take the tags off <laughs> as they're trying to close on. I'm like, girl, what if you never wear it? What if you want to sell it? What if, I don't know. Okay. All right, y'all, so this is the outfit. This is that Zara top. It's just cropped i like how it's like bunched here at the sleeve um it also has just this little thing at the back i don't know what it's for it's an elastic band but anyway it's cute uh these are some black leggings slash pants i got these from trimmall then these are my newest dds heels that i just bought recently i think i showed you guys but anyway that's how my little fat piggies look <laughs> <laughs> then I have on just two gold anklets, gold necklace, my gold CC earrings, if you can see. Um, my black on black Saint Laurent bag. My JBW watch and bracelet. It has real diamonds in it, real diamonds. The link will be down below and a discount code. This is my new favorite watch. I love it so much. I have another one on the way, actually. But um, yeah, y'all, so this is the look for dinner let me go because i'm running a little bit late 
Deuces. Everything off the appetizer menu. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, that's when I came, right? Did the valet come back? My moon's a Scorpio. My moon. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hey Tina. Hey girl. <laughs> Coco's in town. Y'all remember Coco from the Colorado vlog? And the Miami vlog. And Miami. Sure, and sure was. Houston. Uh, yes. Before that. Exactly. Yeah, I did yep. on her. It is Gina's early birthday celebration. It is. Please. Thank you. Sometimes when you let it sit, it'll... Thank you. We're gonna ride the look at. Hot banana caramel cake right here for you. Yay. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes y'all, when I walked up, the waiter was already standing there talking about happy birthday. And I'm like, hold on, who are you talking to? I put on a reservation too for your birthday. Yes. So we are 16 days away from my birthday, so the celebration starts now. Okay, we're going. Yeah, we need four. Yeah, we don't have any four. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, that is dope. They are so cute and they're good. That's perfect. I thought this was a bait. Oh, it's a glitter. <laughs> you, you, you gotta show, show, you gotta show. It's so cool. Well, I have two of these already. Bitch, we'll give it to go. <laughs> she got you no, a I, I, have, I have no, it's not a bait. It's like a LED candle lighter. So when you, you can light it. Oh, let me get back. I have the kind that I seen the one so that you, you posted. <laughs> Ooh, I got a gift. <laughs> Aw. Tina Janine, your thick best friend. Oh, from uh, that's that's dope. Oh, thank you. You need to start you like a memorabilia, memorabilia wall. A little, I mean, a little or like an office with all your like YouTube stuff and look. Aw, yeah. So that's super thank cute. You, Tina. Pull your shorts down. I, I'm doing that. Anyway, good morning. Happy Sunday. Oh my God, my wig is slid back. Oh, oh my. Child, this I don't be looking at myself before I get on camera. Okay, here we go. Wig is in the right position. Yes, I slept with makeup on my face. And I have white sheets on my bed. Why the hell did I do that? Hey, we want bridge or not, because I text you. Okay, send me a bozo. Anyway, I'm cooking a late breakfast. What time is it? Ooh, yes, yeah, late. It's almost 12.30. This is brunch at this point. And then whatever. And I'm making sugar grits. Close the back door, please, and lock it. I did. Lock it. You did not. We're making sugar grits, sausage. Let me just show y'all. We got biscuits. We got burnt sausage, just how we like it. Yes. We got the butter and the sugar grits. I've got to mix that butter in there. Got the butter and the sugar grits. Then the eggs, which are here. Oh, wait, ladies, cook your eggs last. Please do not cook this first, second, third. Cook the eggs last. Okay? Eggs get cold. As soon as you sit them on the plate, eggs get ice cold. Let me look at you. If you got a man, 
Definitely don't do it if you got a man. Baby, you bring your husband or your man some uh, hot plate with some cold, shivering eggs? <laughs> Baby, he gonna leave you, okay? And I don't blame him. Okay, let me make these. I do because I hate eggs. Eggs are disgusting. I do not like eggs at all. You gonna eat my eggs. My eggs are good. <laughs> I make my eggs. Let me just tell y'all how I make my eggs. Why she talking about eggs are disgusting. I make I get eggs. I think I told y'all this in the last vlog or a few vlogs ago. Eggs. A little bit of some type of salt. A little bit of salt. Either it's gonna be regular salt. I use Tony Sachery's over here. You can see it in you can see it in the cabinet right there. Y'all see that Tony Sachery's that green bottle right there? Yes, baby, they go on everything. So get you some Tony Sachery's, a little pepper. And you can't forget the powdered garlic. Do not forget the garlic. And I add in, just to make my eggs a little creamier and fluffier. Not really creamy, but like fluffy. Add a little bit of milk, like a shot. <laughs> a shot glass of milk. Why are you being like that? Because when I talk about food, I get excited. <laughs> That's why I'm fat right now. Uh -huh. And you got to have cheese in your eggs. Not just any type of cheese. Don't be going over there trying to put some fancy cheese in your egg. Don't put no monster. Don't put no cheddar cheese don't put no goat cheese whatever else type of cheese there is i don't know i ain't fancy like that you need good old craft slice american cheese in your eggs <laughs> mm. i get excited when i talk about food this is why my ass can't lose no weight <sighs> is it funny i'm glad you're finding amusement in my pain anyway Hey y'all, it's a little bit later on. Oh, the lighting is a little bad. But anyway, this is what I'm wearing for the day. This is a two-piece set from Fashion Nova. I don't remember what it's called. It's called like keeping it something short sleeve set. But uh, anyway, yeah, I got this months ago. It is tall girl approved. Do y'all see that? Dragging on the ground. I love that Fashion Nova does that. Cater to us tall girls, cause the short girls can get it tailored. We can't do that. We don't have that luxury. But anyway, yeah, so I'm wearing these, and then I have on my Dior slides. This is a bag that I got from Dee Dee's. Um, I got it this summer. Y'all were in love when I hauled this bag. Y'all were like, oh my God, Gina, we need that bag, we need that bag. But anyway, so this is the look. I have on gold bracelet from Shein, ring from AliExpress. This tiger bracelet I've had over 10 years. I don't remember where I got it from. This bangle right here is from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then these are just rings. This uh, ring is from Dee Dee's. Oh. This ring is from, I think, Forever 21, if I'm not mistaken. And then I have on a Forever 21 necklace and then my double C Chanel earrings. So this is the look for the day. Yes. Happy Sunday. Jeep in Houston. 
when you see the black power fist and it say un unapologetic, that's how y'all y'all honk your horns. <laughs> but um, I can't remember what I was saying. But yeah, the, the, it's a vibe here for uh, for brunch and dinner. I think I want to do my birthday brunch here. So I need to figure shit out. My birthday is in 17 days. Today is October 31st. My birthday is November 16th. I ain't got nothing locked in yet. It's it's really messed up how last minute I am. Hi Tina, bye Coco. <laughs> Love you too. The valet driver most definitely farted in my car because why does it stink? Like it makes no sense. My car has been parked for an hour and a half and I get back in it and it smells like that motherfucker farted in my damn car. I want my tip back. Uh, I got that itis. When I tell y'all I wasn't even hungry. Y'all know I had just, oh. Y'all know I had just ate at home. Then I had to meet them. And of course I ate again because what type of hospitality is that when you just sitting there drinking everybody eating, you know? I shared my food though. I didn't, first of all, I shared my food. I gave Tina a whole slice of French toast. I gave Coco half a slice of French toast. So I mean, I shared my food. Ooh, I got the itis. I'm sleepy. I need me like an hour, like a little hour nap, and I think I'll be good. I need to call Jennifer. This bitch, I ain't talked to her in two days. I ain't talked to her on the phone in two days. Let me say that. You know, I talk to her every day, whether it's text, DM, phone call. See what this hell for doing. Make sure my wig not sliding back. Hello. Hey, ho. Hey, hooker. You called me a hooker? I did. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you still at the uh, brunch. I am. You are? Okay. What time are you going to be ready? Uh, about 6.30, but we need to figure out what neighborhood we're going to trick or treat in. Like, my neighborhood, somewhere in the middle. Okay, we're ready for trick-or-treating. Don't mind my dirty room. This is what I'm wearing. Just a t-shirt that says trick-or-treat. Some black leggings and some sneakers. This is my mom outfit. Put your mask on so we can show the people. Come on, Ashton. Yes, baby, it's time to go. It's a little crooked. Yeah. As long as you can see. We got Michael Myers over here. I'm not gonna put my mask on yet. Okay, she's scream. She doesn't want her mask on yet because she says it's hot. So No, that's not why. Oh, excuse me. Look at Jake. Exactly. Hey Jake. Ashton, wave out your hand. Ethan, Ashton. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, we don't want to be rude. Okay. <laughs> I promise you look cute. Thank you. Oh, Hi, Miss Ma'am. Hey, Miss. Your hair is Hi. cute. Is it popping? It's popping, yeah. Your hair looks really, really cute. Thank you. <laughs> you okay, girl? You look cute. Thank you. Y'all, my sister in law. Y'all see, this is what. This is the street. We ran into a nightmare on Elm Street. Candy cane lane. Candy cane lane. Oh my God. This is our first Wow. Look at the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. They are all four Ghostbusters. I ain't afraid of no Ghostbusters. Hold on. This looks like somebody I know. <laughs> Big bad wolf who ate grandma? 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where'd my family go? We, we saw you from behind. We're like, what is he supposed to be? Uh, totally grandma. Yeah, okay, all right, cool. Suspicious here. <laughs> Hey besties, how's y'all day going? My day is going lovely. I have been lazy. Let me just stop, I ain't been lazy. I've, I've straightened up the kitchen, I have laundry going. I've straightened up my room, my bathroom. I've done, I've made iced coffee. I've been kind of productive. I've been answering a ton of emails, Lord. I, 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 I ain't about to complain or nothing cause your girl is booked and busy just signed a, con a few contracts <laughs> so I definitely can't complain I'm a candle burning um so yeah I just look like crap you know but it's definitely a blessing to be able to work from home and look any type of way you know so um I just got a package from Fashion Nova. I kind of want to show you guys, but I kind of don't because I don't want to try the stuff on and yeah. Oh, and real quick, because it's just sitting on my bed. <laughs> the Rosy Rose. I ain't just about to show it on camera because this is not that type of channel. But the Rose, the Rose is definitely worth it. That is the best $32, I think it was 32, best $32 I have spent in a long while. That thing is my new boyfriend. <laughs> this is my new boyfriend, okay? Anyways, I will link the rose down below. There are so many on Amazon and so, I mean, there's just so many. I'm gonna link mine down below cause mine, mine gonna get you that girlfriend. My, mine, gonna do, mine gonna do it for you. So I'm gonna link it down below if anybody is interested, you know? So definitely worth it, but anyway. Uh, I, I will show you what I got in my Fashion Nova, but I'm not going to try anything on y'all. I just don't feel like it. And it's so crazy. Every time I tell y'all I ain't trying to know, I try to shit on. <laughs> but I'm watching Codename Chanel. That's my finesse boo. Y'all check out her channel. She do a bunch of story times, like juicy, scandalous story times i wish she would start vlogging because if she started vlogging it would be so lit i just i just know she has a lit life i i just i feel it she live in dallas she needs to come to houston girl when are you coming to houston chanel code name chanel <laughs> oh y'all is just in such a good mood today i really am it's monday halloween was yesterday the kids had a blast like it's just the week just starting off really good so Anyway, let me set y'all up real quick and then show y'all what I got from the Fashion Nova. Do we still fuck with Fashion Nova or do we not? Has Shein taken over? I feel like Shein is like the new girl. Like, Shein is the new hot spot. Like, oh, I might do need to try this stuff on for y'all. Hold on. This is called the Leading the Pack Midi Dress. I thought it was so cute and it, this part shows your stomach and it's a, ew, it has a part. Why the, why do y'all do this? Why? What's the point of this split in the back? What's the point? Splits in the back are for business skirts. This is a hoochie fit. Like literally this is, this is a thought outfit. Like, my stomach is showing, my ass gonna be poking, hips gonna be spread like some damn parentheses. Like, why? Why? This is so stupid. Like, this is for an office setting. Splits in the back are for office settings. Like, I freaking hate that. So that's also added to the list of things that y'all know clothing-wise that Gina Janine does not like. Shorts. I don't wear shorts because I got big, thick ham hock thighs. Big, thick thighs. You see this? Y'all see this jiggle? I don't wear shorts, okay? I don't. Number two, I hate items that zip in the back. Stupid, the dumbest creation invention ever. Please put the zipper in the front or on the side in the back. How am I supposed to go pee by myself? I might wanna go out and, and be out uh, bopping and bopping solo, but now I'm gonna have to ask a complete stranger in the bathroom to please unzip me, squat and pee, and then can you zip me back please, ma'am? dumb number three skirts with splits in the back why 
party in the front, business in the back. Like, that's stupid. <sighs> anyway, this next one is a two-piece set. This is called the Anastasia Pants Set. Got it in an extra large because that's all they had left. Oh, and it's so stretchy. Oh, Lord, I probably could have got a medium. Oh, this is, this is really stretchy. Dang. Anyway, these are the pants. You probably can't tell. They tie in the front. And they're just some long, super long, wide leg, like sweater. Kind of like sweater material pants. This is the top, long sleeve, mock turtleneck. I might try this stuff on for you guys later on tonight. I ain't doing it right now. There's another two-piece set on the other side. Pants set, a size extra large. The review said the top was tiny. So that's why I got an extra large. They said the top don't cover nothing up. Girl, y'all tripping. That's going to cover all of me. Look at that. That's going to cover all of me up. And then it ties in the middle. Yeah, I'm glad I got an extra large. These are the pants. Wide leg animal print. Then lastly, I got this jumpsuit. I think I got this in a 1X. I did. I got this in a 1X. It's brown. Has a drawstring at the waist. Yeah, I think this is going to be... Ooh. Chi Chi's are flying out. I think this is going to be cute. They didn't have a, I don't think they had an extra large. I think I wanted this in an extra large, but they didn't have it, so I got a 1X. I think it's gonna be fine. I got big thighs anyway, then I can cinch the waist, so I think this is gonna be cute. Okay. That's dead on that. Super Bowl, Beyonce released a teaser single called Bow Down. Now we are headed to pick up my babies. Um, I have lunch on my lap. I'm like, let me save some money and not buy out. Cause I was definitely like, oh, I need to go to Salada or I can go to Chick-fil-A, get a salad. I can go to Subway, Chipotle. Chipotle was really on my mind. But I'm like, I spent a lot of money eating out this weekend. So your girl needs to recoup and make smarter decisions. So, I I have a whole sandwich here, y'all, look. Let me show y'all. On the Hawaiian bread, then I have some low sodium, uh, I have some low sodium wavy ruffles or wavy lays, it's one of those, but the low sodium ones are the best ones in my opinion. Um, and this is how my sandwich looks. We got the honey turkey, we got the thick cut Tillamook cheese. Tillamook cheese is the best cheese, you guys. Yes, it's a little expensive, but my God, I am a cheese lover. Tillamook is the best. Anyway, so I also got tomatoes on there. I got pickles. I got crispy onions. And then I hit it off with a little mixture seasoning with some light mayo and some mustard. Baby, let's bite this thing. We're at Target now. Here they are picking up random stuff that we don't need. Ashton wants some marshmallow fluff to put on toast. That is absolutely disgusting. I'm confused. Um, I'm about to get some salt-free, some salt-free seasonings. I'm gonna get this one, original, and then garlic and herb. I already have lemon pepper. I already have that one. Can we get Raku, like the girl that ended the video? The butter in the Raku? Dip that thigh in it. Deepy, 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 deepy. Y'all just this love is wasting Raku. my money. Raku. We're not buying that and tell you to dip butter. I want to drink it. It looks so good. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, I know you are. You have plenty of powdered sugar at home. Now, this is how my bed should feel. Can feel it. Ooh, limited edition cereal. I think we're gonna get this one. Ooh, and they have special Lucky Charms. Chocolate Lucky Charms and then Marshmallow Cluster. Let's get Marshmallow Cluster. Are you gonna eat it though? If, if I'll, I'll, get the, I'll eat the normal ones. 
Are you sure? Yeah. Get the small box, because y'all, is there a small box? Yes, we'll get this small box. Ethan, you would need Pop Tarts? Get some. I said Ethan, because he's the one who eats them. You don't. Yeah. Y'all want your laundry to smell amazing where you don't even have to wear perfume or anything. You got to get the Suavitel. You've got to get in-wash scent boosters. This is not the scent that I use, but you need an in-wash scent booster. These two together are game changers. You need both, okay? I will never steer you wrong. What, what kind of ice cream did y'all get? What? Y'all got the huge pack of drumsticks? Yeah, I can do that. Hey. Stop. Do y'all see how embarrassing? Get over here. So I've never used Miss Myers. I know this is like a popular cleaning spray. You can see me? But it's on clearance, y'all, for cheap. So I'm about to try it out. And it's a limited edition, like holiday scent. It's for two fourteen. Have y'all tried this before? I usually just use like Clorox wipes, but uh, I'm gonna try this for the, for the low low. Y'all, I got another birthday gift from my sister. Y'all know she had got me those gifts when we had went out to dinner the other night and she got me something else. When I first got it in the mail, I'm like, when did I agree to the sponsorship? I'm looking up, y'all, I was going crazy. Going through my emails like, this has to be a sponsorship. This has to be a sponsorship. And then it clicked to me, I'm like, maybe my sister ordered me something. And she did. <laughs> she ordered me an oil diffuser from Spa Room. And what is this? Oh, and then four different oils. So sweet. Oh, and they smell good too. Aww. Thank you, Tina. I'm actually texting her right now, so she already knows that <laughs> I told her thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try out my Miss Myers. I feel fancy. I feel like the bougie white women that be doing the little fast paced cleaning in their house and they yeah, I feel like one of them because I have Miss Myers. Mmm, <laughs> it smells good. Y'all, it smells really good. I should have bought both of them. They had two of them over there and I just bought one. I should have bought both. I don't know why I was being mm -hmm. stupid. That's dumb. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back tomorrow and buy the other bottle if it's still there. I am loving this. I don't know what's so special about it, but I'm just really liking the way it's making my countertops look. Like I said, I usually use like them Clorox wipes, Fabuloso wipes. It ain't nothing like that good old, old school just spray and wipe. So I think I'm gonna give these to a homeless person. I have bought two boxes of these for the kids from Dee Dee's and they not eating them. When do these expire? They expire in January. So I think I'm gonna give these to the um to a homeless person. I don't know, I thought the kids would love this. They love uh, Frosted Flakes. So why do y'all not like the Frosted Flakes bars? Like, and I'm about to try this cereal. Y'all know all the sugar and stuff settles at the bottom. So you gotta, Shake it up before you open it. But yeah, this is that limited edition cereal. I wanna see how this tastes. Actually, let me do a comparison. Do I got shawl do? So this is the regular cinnamon toast crunch. This is the sugar cookie toast crunch. Mmm. Now this is the original cinnamon toast crunch. Girl, don't nothing to compare to the original. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah, that's good. This sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. it's, that, it's tasting basic. I got my cute dollar store bowl. These were a dollar at Dollar Tree. How cute. <laughs> Almond milk only, no cow's milk. We don't drink pus around here. So almond milk or coconut milk? 
And fun facts about me, I love soggy cereal. So if I was eating this normally, I would let it get soft for a little bit, but I just want her to do a taste test and on camera. It's not bad, but it's not cinnamon toast crunch. So I rate this like a seven out of 10. This of course, 10 out of 10. It's worth eating, I'm gonna eat it, but I don't think y'all should just buy, it. buy the original. And while we're talking about soggy cereal, I want to know who's like me. Who else likes soggy cereal? So I love Frosted Flakes because those get soft quickly. I love Chex because Chex gets soft quickly. But my all-time favorite mushy cereal, best, is Frosted Mini Wheats. Mm. Not just the regular shredded Mini Wheats, the Frosted Shredded Mini Wheats. The absolute nastier cereal that I despise and so many people like it, Captain Crunch, disgusting. Like, makes me want to vomit. And then Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles, Cocoa Pebbles. Ugh. But Captain Crunch is the absolute worst. Sick. Okay, so I'm trying this stuff on. This this is the Tiger Dress. Um, not a fan. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm just not a fan of it. It's like very loose, like doesn't hold me in. Um, I probably could have worn a small in this dress, to be honest with y'all, like, and then the split in the back, I just, I'm not liking. So this will be on my Poshmark if you girls like this dress, the size large. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this I love. This is perfection. Look how long these pants are, I'm 5'9". Just for reference, I have a size extra large. Uh, yes, please, thank you, love it. Absolutely love this. This is called the Anastasia Pants Set. Ooh, ooh, this length, baby. Thank you, fashion. No, but uh, oh. Okay, this is the next one. This one was on, what? This one was on clearance for fifteen dollars originally. Fifty five zero. That's crazy. Anyway, so the pants are nice and long. They touch the ground. I got this in a size extra large. This is the top. Of course, I have a bra on. It kind of camouflages, but um, I probably won't wear a bra with it. So for $14 down from 50, I'm like, this is a cute little summertime or like vacation, vacation outfit. So that last one, I didn't say what the set was called. It's called On the Other Side pants set in brown okay and lastly ghostbusters who you gonna call ghostbusters i missed that plan uh anyways i feel like i look like one of the ghostbusters and y'all know the girl on ghostbusters her name was janine so it's fitting i think her name was janine right I'm almost positive. She had red hair, glasses, Janine. But anyway, so this is the something boiler, boiler room jumpsuit. It's cute. I got this in a size of 1X. I wanted to get it in an extra large, but everything was sold out except for the 1X, 2X, 3X. So got in the 1X and I think it's cute. It's kind of bunched up more than I would like at the waist. I would have to je definitely jazz this up some type of way. But anyway, I like it. It was $33. I look like I'm about to go bust some ghosts, kill some ghosts, where Slimer at? So I just realized it had like a snap on the sleeve. So I, this makes it look better. Look at this, frumpy, frumpy. I look like a mechanic. Cute, I'm stylish. Mechanic, stylish. Mechanic, oil leaks, working on cars. Bitch, I'll take your man. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to attempt to use this thing. This is that curling thingy I got off of Shein. Um, Aaliyah's face was the one who had it. She she hauled this in a video. 
And I was like, oh, that's cool. Let me try that. So, I'm about to try it. I feel like it's going to be so uncomfortable to sleep in, though. So, you're supposed to put it on your head. Maybe this clips this part. Okay. Sorry, y'all. My TV's kind of loud if y'all can't hear me that well. Then you just get all the hair and twist it around. Right? Yes. I don't think this is going to work. <gasps> no, this is like, this does not work. I think the thought behind it is genius, but no, this is not going to, how is it going to hold your hair? How? How, Sway? Okay, so it's, I mean, it's on now. This is going to be the most uncomfortable sleep ever. But y'all want to know what's funny though? Uh, how y'all going to see this? Because I'm ending the vlog after this. I've been vlogging for the past three days. Like I can't vlog another day. It's going to be a two hour long vlog and we don't do that over here. Oh my. This looks retarded. Oh my goodness, y'all. Hold on, let me put my bonnet on. Let me see if this can really be a thing. Oh my God, y'all. We might be on to something. We might be on to something. It's possible I might pop back in at the end or whatever. Just letting y'all know if it worked or not. But anyway, yeah, I'm ending the vlog here, y'all. I will link this thing down below. It's from Shein. I think it was like $3. I'll link it if you guys are interested. But yeah, we shall see if my hair is going to be curled in the morning. So, okay, y'all, I came back just for y'all. It's the next day. Y'all want to see if this curler thing actually worked? I don't know. You see how my, my wig, my not my wig, my thing done slid all the way back. Child, look, hold on. Look at this. Okay. Let me take this clip out. Take this scrunchie off. <laughs> take this scrunchie off. Oh no. Hold on, this side look like it curled. This side not really. Hold on. Uh-uh. That's a no. That's a no. I mean, this side actually did kind of curl. As you guys can see, that's a spiral curl. These are spiral curls. This side, no. Just wake up early enough to curl your hair in the morning. Because that, that's a no. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Nah. Okay, y'all. I'm out this time for real. I just came to check back in to let you guys know if this was worth you using or not. Uh, if you like the curls... If you like that, cause I mean it did curl just at the bottom. I will have a link down below. If you are not interested, then girl, wake up early and curl your hair. But guess what? I'm about to run my errands just like these. Holla y'all in the next vlog.